Hello and welcome to the second instalment of my Axial SCX102 UMG 4x4 kit build which is about painting and assembling the body set and fitting it to the chassis. I actually started building the kit back in April 2023 when I built the chassis but for various reasons that's as far as I got with it at the time. Fast forward a year and a half and I bought some paint and started working on it again. I bought the kit from a friend called Richard who lives nearby and he'd already cut most of the body pieces out. So I started by painting the rear bed, the rear fenders and the fuel tanks and the interior black. I had to cut these parts out in the cab for the headlamps and grille to fit in before I could paint it. When that was done I masked the gaps and the arches and the side steps and used to me a light gunmetal grey paint as the main colour. Then I backed that with metallic silver. When it was dry I removed the masking tape from the arches and the side steps. I was very relieved to see there was only a little bleed which I was able to remove with a wooden cocktail stick. Then I finished the cab with some coats of black. While the paint was drying in the cab I painted the plastic radiator that sits behind the grille using some Tamiya acrylic chrome silver to try and add a bit of scale authenticity to the look. When the paint was dry in the cab I removed the overspray film from all the parts. Painting is not my favourite job and I've had a few go wrong in the past but overall I was very pleased with how this came out. I wanted the driver to show up in the cab so I painted his torso with a brush on the outside of the interior using Tamiya acrylic battleship grey. Then I painted his hands and a bit of his neck with Tamiya acrylic flesh. When this was dry I screwed the driver's plastic head and cap which I'd also painted with the same colours to the torso and applied the decals to the interior. Then I applied the decals to the cab. There was a choice of decals for the rear and I chose the metal plate for the bed and the side pieces. Now I fixed the plastic parts to the cab and you can just make out the silver radiator behind the plastic grille in this close up. I really like the plastic mirrors on this which can fold in if needed and I think the plastic door handles look good on the body and add some nice detail to it. Next was the cage. I screwed this together around the rear bed and then screwed the bed down on top of the framework. Then I screwed the side pieces to the underneath of the framework. I assembled the spare wheel carrier and fixed that to the rear bed and fitted the spare wheel. Then I fixed the interior into the cab. I did this using screws on the inside that go through the front of the interior and out of the body into the plastic wipers holding them in place. The back of the interior is also fixed with screws on the inside which go through the back of the body and screw into the rear cage holding it all in place. So now the body was almost done. The only thing I couldn't do was fit LEDs to the light buckets because I've run out of stock and need to order some more. So that will be done another day. The final job was to fit the body to the chassis. It's fixed to the rear with some step screws so it's hinged and can be lifted up from the front. At the front of the body there's some hidden posts under the cab which slot into brackets on the chassis and held in place with body clips. This eliminates the posts coming out the top of the body which is a really good design and adds a huge amount of scale to the look of the UMG. This has become more common now on RCs but I think it was a relatively new concept when the UMG was released in 2019. So here it is with the body on, nearly complete after buying it two years ago. I like the colours I chose for the cab and driver which are pretty close to the axial box art and I think they add to the utilitarian feel of the UMG. I'm looking forward to trying out the Hobbywing Fusion Pro 2300 kV brushless system I've put in it which will be a new experience for me as I've never had or used one before. I feel very lucky to have found and built this kit because they're extremely rare now and used UMG 4x4s hardly ever come up for sale here in the UK now either. The next time you see it will be on its maiden run so stay tuned. If you want to see the chassis build the link to that video is in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching.